Hey everyone, I'm Julie from The Techie Teacher and welcome to Classroom Cribs, our version of MTV Cribs. If you're not familiar, MTV Cribs was the television show back in the day, I don't think it's around anymore, and they would go into celebrities' homes and take a look around. So we're gonna do the same thing today at an elementary school here in Michigan, and I have a special guest with me and I'm gonna flip the camera around. We have... Mary, a second grade Hi. teacher. And we did have the principal, Michelle, here with us, but she had to go off to a meeting. Okay. So Mary, the one who organized <laughs> this whole thing for us, is gonna take us on a tour. So we are standing in her second grade classroom and we're gonna take a look around. Yeah, so welcome, welcome everyone. So this is my classroom and we've embraced flexible seating in our, in our district. So we're going to be popping into lots of classrooms. Our building is a K through three. So you'll be seeing lots of exciting um, flexible seating furniture that's been refurbished, some um, things that maybe you've never even thought of. So one of the highlights in my classroom is my reading loft and um, some plywood and saw and hammer and nails and we've got a really fun reading loft. You'll probably notice the leprechaun traps um, they're they're gonna catch something this weekend so around the classroom um, you'll see a couple of them here there and everywhere I'm gonna just pan around here right. so cute there's her iPad station and check out this headphone stand that one of her students made last year tell us about that so I was having trouble with all of the cords. We tried Ziploc bags, we tried um, just a whole bunch of different ideas and nothing seemed to work. So I drew this up and I have um, a student and his father that were welders and together they created this turnstile where the students could put their headphones on. So as long as they wrap up their cords, then um, it's good to go. I love that. Okay. So anything else you wanna see in here? I love your collaboratory, what happens in there? So that's an area where students can create, they can work together in small groups, they can work individual. I just didn't wanna call it a quiet room anymore, so the collaboratory seemed best. So cute. All right, Are you ready? moving on. Okay, so next up is Jenny's room. And Jenny is a second grade teacher as well. Come on in. So you guys are connected. We are connected. Oh. So one of the, my favorite things in Jenny's room is this bunk bed from Ikea. She calls it the tree house. And she um, has students sitting underneath it for reading. They can work in small groups of twos and threes. And it seems very durable, so that's, that's kind of fun. It's nice and cozy. She's got a little closet back there. Okay. Something else that I love about Jenny's room is her rug. Um, she wrote a grant for donors at Donors Choose and the students can sit and turn to their partner. They can sit around the perimeter and have conversations about books or their writing, share some of the things that are happening. Um, it's a great, great feature to have in the classroom. I love it. Check out her app exploration chart. Love that. Okay. All right. Ready to move on? All right, we're gonna sneak through the quiet room and I'm sure Jenny and Mary aren't going to be too happy with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have to have a place to store <laughs> this things. This is our storage shed, right? <laughs> <laughs> so this is another second grade classroom, Mary's. And in Mary's classroom, we call this a demo classroom because we're just getting some new furniture. And so you're welcome to come in and trade spaces with Mary and bring your class in and Mary will um, move into your classroom and you can try out the furniture and see how you like it. We just passed a bond in our district, so we're looking at furniture not next year, but the following year of bringing in some stronger um, desks and chairs um, and just getting what, what the students need. Nice. They are a one-to-one -one school, correct? correct? Everyone's one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is it K3 iPads and then, um, no, third also has Chromebooks. Right, right. Okay. So. so lots of tech around here. I wish you guys could smell how nice these rooms <laughs> smell. <laughs> smells so clean and fresh. <laughs> Next up is Mary's room. 
next up, we're going to go into a couple of third grade classrooms. This is Karen's room. And some of the great features about Karen's room is that she was able to do some online clearance shopping. And she got her rug and her small um, ottoman um, at, online at the end of um, a season, some clearance. Um, her, her outdoor seating came from Menards and was on clearance. So you don't always have to pay top of the line. You just have to be kind of creative in your thinking of how you're going to arrange your room. Can we zoom in on this her wishing, tree. wishing tree? How cute is this? So she read the book, The Wish Tree, and um, students wrote their wishes on the colored paper, and then they stapled it up. Cute. I like and this area I'm too. if we can highlight Karen's. There we go. So Karen, whoops, let me get out of your way. Karen has this great quiet room, and she has um, a green screen all ready to go just with a curtain rod and um, some curtains. I love it. That's a nice space. Okay. And I will follow you to Marcy's room. Okay. This is another third grade room, Marcy's. Um, and she's got um, stools from Ikea. She's taken storage containers and taken out the shelves and the bookshelves and turned it into a great desk. Um, she has Huge. some really fun brag tags on the wall. What? And there is Danielle Knight, study all nights. Digital <laughs> footprint collaborative poster. She has some great collaborative posters, so check that out. Cute, love this room. Okay, we'll follow right. you. Next up, we're going to the first grade room. This is an area before we jump into another classroom that um, when students are here, we pull those tables out. They can sit and work on the couch. They can get out of the classroom. They can make little videos. Um, Mrs. Cargell has them working here on the video station. So if they're going to be doing some, some teaching videos, she has them use the whiteboard and she'll have a student videotaping out here. So this is a collaborative area. Even though it's a hallway, we tend to use it for a more than just a hallway. It's, it's an area to work. Love it. And this is a first grade classroom. This belongs to Becca and um, She's really um, done a wonderful job of trying different types of seats. She lowered these desks, looks like. Mm -hmm. Good. First grade. Cute, cute, cute. Where did she get the ball chairs? Of course you'd ask that. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, we'll have to ask her. But a lot of these teachers are either doing donors choose or paying out of pocket for the furniture. Correct. When we first started going to flexible seating, there was some money. So those first couple classrooms were able to purchase, um, like the desk that you saw in, in Becca's room. We each got a small pocket of, um, can I say pocket of change? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, to, to buy a few pieces that we think would work well in our classroom and would match our teaching style. Gotcha. And a lot of the things I've seen have even been repurposed. We'll take a look at some of those pieces. We're now going into another first grade classroom. This is Miranda's classroom. And one feature you're gonna love is her app tree. Mm -hmm. Look at that. How cute. This is a nice comfy space. High top table. And then she painted the top with chalkboard paint. She did. Uh, she found her table at a resale shop and she um, painted it and then put um, the chalkboard uh, paint in the center. I love that. Okay. Here we have another first grade classroom. This is Megan's classroom. 
And probably one of my favorite features of Megan's classroom is her tire. <laughs> so students sit in the center of the tire to do some independent reading or How writing. How cute! You don't want to read it. Oh, I love that. How do, do you have any idea how they determine who gets to sit there? Do they change seats? I Maybe she has a chart. No, she might have a chart. Yeah. Is that how most teachers deal with the flexible seating or do the, is it just first come first serve? It just depends on the teacher. I think it depends on the teacher. So in my classroom, we have we have a chart that we kind of all agree upon at the beginning of the year. How is this going to look? How are we going to pick our seats? And, and each year, each class has come up with a different way of selecting their flexible seating. This year's class has decided you may sit anywhere you want, but it can't be where you sat yesterday. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> so every day there's a new seat. Um, I do find them on the floor and then they find a seat and it's not necessarily the, the seat that they chose in the morning. They're constantly changing based on what they need. So some students for writing, they know that they need that desk. Other gotcha. students need, um, you know, for math, they, that same student who might have sat at the desk for writing, they might need something different for math. So. Love it, love it. Here is another first grade classroom. I could do this all day. <laughs> <laughs> so fun. And one of the things that I love about Diane's room is the standing desk. And so students will stand and if they even need more movement, they can rock back and forth and it's quiet. Um, so they're getting their wiggles out without disturbing their neighbors. Have any idea if the school purchased those? Yes, her? the, the they, school did purchase okay. those. Nice. Okay. All right. Let me show you a really fun second grade classroom. They're in the middle of doing a research project. Do you want to talk about this now or later? A weekend since we're here. Right. My favorite part of the school. <laughs> Tell us about this, Mary. So this is called Swarm Studio, and this is our big green screen, and this is where a lot of our videotaping takes Yo, place. Look at this. So we got the natural light coming in because we know how important that is for green screen videos. This entire wall. How'd you do it? <laughs> Several teachers gave up their time and um, Michelle was wonderful at supporting us and um, they were able to um, buy the paint and, and give up their time to, to paint and, and out of Michelle's building fund, they were able to create the Celine Swarm Welcome. Oh, that's so neat. And Michelle allows them to paint their classroom whatever color they wish, whatever they feel. Oh my I'm goodness. I'm gonna send you into the jungle, come okay, on. Okay, I just lost my train of thought. Look at this. This is Nicole's room. Nicole is currently studying the rainforest and oh she is doing a wonderful research project on the rainforest and then she'll have a performance next week. Incredible. It takes hours and hours and hours to put all of this wow. up. She has um, some I hope King some would be proud of her. <laughs> <laughs> she has parent yeah. volunteers. And the students, as they do their research, they're able to continue to decorate um, and add what they learn into the rainforest. Incredible. Wow. Does she do this every year? Yes, she does. Wow. I'm going to pop into two um, rooms. One is our resource room, and the other one is where um, our special ed um, staff works. So bright. So one of the things in Riley's room that she's done is she's taken the storage space and created seats out of it um, by just putting some chair pads on it and taking some of the storage space over here. And then, um, putting taller chairs behind it so they're a little higher up. So cute. Okay. And this is our resource room. Something I love about Beth's room is the cupboards that she takes um, border from some of the um, 
bulletin boards and she's cut those up and put those along the, the edges just to dress up those gray cupboards. Cute. Okay. She has her smart board lowered. And she's um, painted half of her chalkboard wall, or half of her wall with chalkboard paint so that the students can write, solve problems, think. Before we do, I want to show you one other small space for our social worker, Casey. This is Casey's space. And she's taken a very small space and done a wonderful job of being able to fit everything in here. In some very calming colors. And so this is classroom cribs. Is this tiny, tiny closet? <laughs> tiny homes. Closet cribs. <laughs> closet cribs. Wow, she really made the most out of her space in here. Welcome to Mr. Ball's kindergarten room. Oh, it smells so clean. I'm telling you guys. Wow. So he has a chalkboard, bulletin board. She did. Yeah. So he removed the bulletin board off the wall, and it was okay. one of those cork boards. And then he just painted the space with the chalkboard paint so that students could create, I think, um, show their thinking um, on the wall. Love that. And these, you said, are IKEA? IKEA storage sure. units okay. um, that he's used it for um, seating as benches. And he has some of the newer furniture that we're looking at as a district purchasing. Okay. This is another kindergarten room. And the lights are not popping on. That's okay, we still get the just cute. Let's sneak through the quiet room on this one. Over there? Yep. Okay. I'll let you lead. Jenny's room and she has um, kindergartners and she's done a wonderful job of um, creating different areas for her students, um, centers and uh, making sure that they have everything that they need. So inviting, I love it. Do you want to talk about our little spots? Oh, the sit spots. I was telling Michelle and Mary that I'd only seen the circular sit spots. I've never seen the ones that look like fish, and I guess they have other animals. How cute. All right, on to Ryan's room. Ryan, you want to talk? Here we have another kindergarten classroom. Ryan's done a wonderful job of bringing in some of the IKEA furniture pieces for different heights, um, using, again, the storage from Ikea as benches. Um, he has lots of room for um, movement in this kindergarten classroom. And when they come in in the morning, they just, just get to choose where to sit, correct? They do, yeah. they do. How fun. So they came without they having to look their classroom. They, they came. Um, they came down to second grade, but they did not have to move. So this is Mr. Pelletier's classroom. So he just took a table and removed the legs to lower it. He did, he did. Very smart. Okay. All right. And here we have classroom. Cute. So we know that students love forts. They love, they love to be in little tiny spaces. And, and this area was created when the school was built for a great big cart with wheels that we could hold our, our basketballs, um, you know, any of our recess toys. But since then, we've had a giant cage that is located in just outside of our recess doors. So teachers have been turning this area into a nook. And so what Teresa did 
is she took a chair and she took the legs off of it and created this seat that would fit nicely into this area. So thrifty. So that students could have a very comfortable seat with a little bit of structure and they're able to work. Meanwhile, look at how organized those devices look. Wow. Okay. Nice space. All right. Okay. And so we only have one classroom left. Oh, man. <laughs> and this is Mr. Perry's class. This is a third grade classroom. And when I asked if we were able to visit all the classrooms, Mr. Perry said yes, but he wanted everyone to know that he is doing what his students need right now. They, they need the structure and the layout, but he said they're rarely at their desk, that oftentimes they'll go down onto the floor where he can do a mini lesson, that they can work together. Um, he's created some space both on each side where students can work in small groups. And he said they're up and they're down and they're getting everything that they need. So. So it um, looks a little different in every classroom based on what the teacher feels most comfortable with. Awesome. Okay. Well, is that it for our tour? That is it for our tour. Oh, Mary, thank you so <laughs> much. This was fun and I just can't get over how this school is doing such amazing things. So keep, keep at it. <laughs> thank you for joining us. Thank you.